This tutorial is to walk you through setting up user-defined fields for companies and contacts in the admin area of Sponsor Pro. User-defined fields allow users to create their own defined fields based on unique information needed to be tracked on a company or contact. We will go over the admin area, the user-defined field settings area, creating a new user-defined field, adding values to a drop-down field, and managing an existing user-defined field. When under a company's account, user-defined fields can be viewed in the second section under the main info tab. The contact user-defined fields are viewed under the bottom section. User-defined fields can consist of a variety of different things. They should be built based on the information that you want to track for the company or contact outside of the general information. For example, number of employees for a company, and birthday for a contact. To create user-defined fields, click the admin icon at the top of the screen. This will take you to your settings options. These are covered in other tutorials, but for this, we will click on the user-defined field text on the left. This will take you to a list of your user-defined fields. Each has a label, or name, a type, and whether they are viewed as a company field or contacts field. To search, type in the field label box and click search. To create a new field, click the new field button. The first step is to label the field. For this example, we will create a field for suite number, designating what suite the company has access to. Next, decide what type of field you would like to create. You have the option for a drop-down, text box, checkbox, and text area. Text box and text areas allow for unique text to be typed in each field. Text areas are larger than text boxes, so should be used if you intend to type more into the field. Check boxes are great for filtering your company and contact views later. You may want to set up a check box for a contact labeling whether they are a season ticket holder or not, so they can be viewed in one view. Dropdowns allow you to preset and create your own values. For this example, we will set it as a dropdown, so we can list our suite numbers and they can be selected. The last option is whether you would like it to be a company or contact specific field. Remembering back to the company's account, this will place it in one of the two sections for user defined fields. When you are done, click Save. The field will now show in your list of user defined fields. It will also show in the designated section under the main info tab of the company. Since this example is a drop-down, we will need to set the drop-down values, or in this case, the suite numbers. To edit the field or add values, click the field in the list. A new section will appear. To add a value, enter the name in the value box. Then, click Add. The value will now be listed, so add the remaining values. To delete a value, click the Delete button next to that field under the Actions tab. When you are done, click Save. Now, when under a company's account, I can select which suite they have access to. In this case, we will select Suite 5 for Best Buy. This has been a look at setting up user-defined fields in Sponsor Pro. Until next time!